Hi, welcome to the first ebook. My name is Tom Norris, author of The Journey. This is video 12 of a series of 20 videos aimed at helping young writers become better writers. In this video I'm going to talk to you about how to effectively use simile and metaphors in your writing. Now similes and metaphors are used in many forms of writing, from newspapers and magazines to novels and in many other fields of writing as well. They can be used to help to communicate a specific message more effectively and to place emphasis on a particular point and they are also used to both enhance a description of something in order to enable it to have more of a powerful effect on the reader and they can also be used to perhaps simplify a particular passage of text or to help explain something more clearly. Now both similes and metaphors share some common traits. They are both used to make comparisons and also both work by often connecting two items which might once be connected. They can also both be used in a highly creative manner in order to achieve their desired effect. However, they are not one and the same thing which is why it's important to point out the different between them. Similes compare two things by association which are not like each other but which when used can make the meaning via the association more descriptive. They do this by using the words like or as. They can also be used where the association is stated either implicitly or explicitly thereby can be used in a way that leaves the real doubt of what the author is trying to convey or in some instances the author may prefer to use simile which can be open to a the reader. Here is an example of explicit simile where the reader is left in no doubt of the author's intent. I knew it would end in trouble when I saw all the beers and chaser on drinking like a fish. So here the reader is left in no doubt that the person the author is talking about has been drinking a lot. Now here is an example of a simile where the author's description is more vaguer or where in different ways. The skill of the pilot as he maneuvered the plane through the mountain region before swooping down towards the runway was as precise and as controlled as an eagle following its prey. Now here Although most of us would take that to mean that he was very skilled in controlling the plane and reaching his intended target, we have different perspectives on the plane as it comes into land. Certain similes have also become stereotypically over the years to become part of everyday speech. For example, an often used simile is as stubborn as an ox. And whilst there is no problem with using the phrase when writing, it's hardly original, but it might equally be the best choice of words to convey what you want to say. Similes are also used in an ironic manner to make comparisons which are the total opposite to what the author means to say. An often cited example is he was as much use as a chocolate teapot, which basically means he was no use at all. You often see similes used in this fashion in writing for comedy. Now metaphors are also used in a similar fashion to similes in that they make comparisons. However, where a simile points to similarities between different concepts, a metaphor draws a direct parallel. Here is an example of the use of a metaphor. As he told her that their relationship was over, she felt the singe of rejection burning inside her. Here, although we know that there was no singeing or burning going on, the description conveys the deep sense of emotional pain she was feeling when he told her that the relationship was over. There are also many different types of metaphors and the way we use them. For example, the use of living and dead metaphors, whereby the example above would be considered to be a living metaphor, whereas phrases like, you are my world, or it took a few drinks to break the ice would be considered as examples of dead metaphors. 
whereby the visual transfer of an image is presented by the metaphor is the picture and our sense of meaning of it more associated with our understanding of the phrase rather than the visual. There are no hard and fast rules about the use of metaphors and symbolize when writing, nor is there any restrictions as to how often you use them. However, what you should consider is whether they add meaning to what you're trying to say, as overuse can simply turn a reader off or confuse them. That said, most of the successful songs in the modern era have solely relied on the use of metaphors and similes with little besides to convey a message. Example, Ironic by Alanis Morissette, uh, Lucy and the Sky with Diamonds, and I Am the Walrus by the Beatles. Those are prime examples of which almost entirely consist of similes and metaphors. Okay, that's it for now. You can find more videos on creative writing at firstebook.co. So come and visit.